Good morning. I'm here at the Blue Lake Trailhead inside the Roosevelt National Forest. And today, I think I'm going to try for Cameron Peak. I couldn't find any information in any of my books, but I was looking at the map and I'm guessing it's going to be around six miles and probably over a 2,400 foot elevation gain. And just for those of you that are curious, no camping in the Blue Lake area. Official start time, 6.30. And unfortunately, I'm gonna be walking through a lot of burned area, I have a feeling. They've had this trailhead closed for a long time, pretty much ever since the fire started. I mean, when I came up and did Braddock Peak, they had barricades all over the place. It was kind of depressing. However, when Chris and I were coming down from Lulu and Thunder Mountain the other day, I noticed that it was open. I have a feeling this is just the beginning and it's gonna get so much worse. It's really nice to see the flowers popping up amidst all that devastation. Goodness, this is bad. This is just total devastation. Today is August 12th, and one year ago tomorrow, on August 13th, is when the Cameron Peak fire was started somewhere up in this area. And that ended up being the largest fire in Colorado's history. It burned from August 13th, 2020 until December 2nd, 2020. And it destroyed over 208,000 acres. Walking through all this, this is kind of giving me a really sick feeling in the pit of my stomach. Kind of makes me want to cry. big thank you to the forest crews that came in here and cleaned this all out and made the trail accessible again. I appreciate you. You can see Chambers Lake down there. These burned up trees make it more visible for sure. You can see right down there.
I just took a quick five minute break to eat a piece of pizza. Got to keep the fuel going. These flowers are the only thing saving this hike right now. Oh, this place is trashed. This used to be a really shady hike, but not anymore. I'm getting blasted by the sun. I'm maybe a mile or so away from Blue Lake and I finally busted through the burn section and this is so much better. And that's gonna be our first look at Cameron Peak. I hope there's not too many trees at the base of it. I don't know. It looks like there is. This is the way the trail used to be. Just super dense, nice and shady. At least we're getting a little bit of it. I'm almost up to Blue Lake, maybe another quarter mile. Whew. This thing's got a lot of elevation gain right here before the lake. I'm at about 10,800 right now. All right, and I can see the water. It's gonna be Blue Lake down there. That's looking over in the direction of Clark Peak. This took me about two and a half hours to get up here. And that's with a pizza break as well. So what I'm going to do next is head right up here to the pass and then I'm just going to start plowing up the side until I find the highest point up there. I'm making my way up to the saddle and this is looking behind me at where I've come from. Really beautiful today. I'm staying on this pretty nice trail. It's going right up to the saddle. And this looks worse than it is. It's really not too bad. Almost up there. And I'm up here. I'm in the saddle. If you keep going in this direction, that'll take you out to Clark Peak. I'm not even sure what these are back here. I've never been up here before. And then behind me here, this is what I have left. And it looks like this first part in the trees is gonna be the worst. But once I'm up there, it shouldn't be too bad. It's 927 right now, which means that that took just under three hours to get up here. And since I didn't take any breaks or anything at the lake, I'm gonna take one right here. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat, regain my energy, and then I'm gonna start heading up. And let me tell you, that's not even the summit of Clark Peak. That's like just the beginning. That looks super hard. 
I just took a nice little break up here on the saddle, ate some crackers, and now I'm just gonna start heading up right here and see if I can make it to that little saddle and then on over to the summit. I'm looking at about a thousand vertical feet in about a mile. And I'm thinking that should take me about an hour. All right, let's do it. I'm kind of hooking it to the north and around the trees, but this isn't too bad. And I'm getting up here pretty quickly. Ooh, yeah, this looks tasty right here. Bam, straight up. I pretty much made it through the trees and I didn't even have to deal with any of them. There's a little path through here. It's pretty fun. And I can see the summit right there in front of me. I wanna put on my boogie shoes. Here's a look at the next section. It looks pretty easy from here on out. Just a bit of a grind. And check this out, guys. This looks pretty easy the rest of the way. Grassy hills. And that is gonna be the summit right there in front of me, to the right. Cameron Peak. <laughs> That's how that one guy would have said it. I saw a guy on Diamond Peaks who said he had hiked up from Cameron Pass. However, he was hiking in basketball shorts and a tank top and he went the wrong way down the mountain. So I'm just gonna act like he doesn't know what he's talking about. There it is. That's the true summit.
then way out there is the Montgomery Pass. And you can see the traverse up to Clark Peak. Lots of down and up. I'm counting at least six high points that you have to go up and over. You can check it out. You can see some people on the trail down there. That's the trail that I need to take back down. It's about 11.45, and I've been sitting up here on the summit of Cameron Peak for about an hour and 15 minutes. And I'd sit up here all day if I could. This is the most perfect day. But unfortunately, that's not an option. So it's time to go. It's time to head on back. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit. I'm thinking this is going to take around three hours to get down. Maybe 45 or so to get down to the saddle. Then I'm hoping about two hours and 15 to get back down to the trailhead. I don't know. It's about 6.3 miles or so. head down I'm gonna have to kind of veer to the north a little bit and aim for this area right here I'm gonna work it over to the saddle and then take it down it looks a little easier Clark Peak is looking huge up there I feel like you need to be Superman to get up it get it because Clark Clark Kent and Superman. I'm gonna call that the tissue mushroom. Cause I can't tell if it's a mushroom or somebody's wadded up tissue. Coming down this is really nice and mellow. It's nothing too challenging. All right, this is looking good. I'm gonna drop it in right here between these bushes. I went through those two bushes and I'm continuing north. I'm looking for the weakness here. I'm about ready to check my GPS. However, I'm trying to do it just off like man skills. So far, I'm not seeing it. Man skill fail. I had to check the GPS and I need to keep heading to the north here. Okay, this is a first. There's a tooth right here. Check that out. That's crazy. I'm keeping that.
my man skills led me down exactly the way that I came up through these bushes. However, that's still the crux of the hike right there. Those things were like grabbing onto me while I was trying to get by. I'm like, come on. I'm actually following a little trail out of here. I didn't see this on the way up. I mean, it's not that great. It's real sandy along the trail here. I went up the grass and it was actually a little more solid. From the summit down here to the saddle took 40 minutes. All right, I'm gonna jump on this trail and take it on down. And there it is. That's looking back up at Cameron Peak. Or as some would pronounce it, Cameron Peak. God, today is just so beautiful out here. It is the perfect day. Just gotta make it back down there to Blue Lake. This should be really easy and pretty much downhill. Although there are a few spots of uphill on the way back, that's for sure. That was really awesome up there. And it's no surprise that there was no other people up there. Of course not. It's only a 12er. But you know me, I love the 12ers. 12ers and some blue sky and I'm happy. Like I got a little uphill to do. And there's the summit up there. Now I know which one it is. That's one final look at what I did. It back to the yellow flowers. I'm almost done going uphill. Whew. Then I should get like three miles of downhill. Just making my way through the burned area. And I am moving really slow. I'm probably going down this trail as about as fast as I came up it. Just can't go fast over it. I would rate this one R for sure, for rough. I mean, it's just covered with little rocks and tons of sticks, which are easy to slip on or trip on or just whatever. I'm just taking these little baby steps the whole time. I'm back on this nice road once again. And although hiking on roads is usually pretty boring, I'm really enjoying this right now just because it's so smooth. That thing going up to Blue Lake is nasty. It's just a burned up rocky mess. I just had to stop for another five minute break. I am popping Ethan's energy drinks. I took some sums, micro doses. I'm doing everything I can do to try and get down this thing because I am tired right now. That's a pretty good view of Chambers Lake. I guess that's a hot spot for camping. And when this fire broke out, they evacuated that place quick. I'm getting there. Maybe another mile or so.
And this is going to be the final bridge. I am almost done. It's 3.23 right now, which means that that took almost three hours and 40 minutes to come down. That's a heck of a hike. Well, I hope you enjoyed that hike. And until the next one, y'all, peace.